go on vacation they have a, a schedule that they use so we're gonna have lunch at noon or one o'clock we're gonna go scuba diving at three o'clock and we're able to use the clock to base our activities on but here at Old Faithful we don't use the regular 12-hour clock that everyone else uses it's all about Old Faithful so when people choose to have their lunch or their dinner or their nap or their walk through the geyser basin all is based on when the Old Faithful was going to erupt so they can be sure and see it. Old Faithful is getting ready to erupt, so I am trying to time it. Oh, and there it goes. So I'm hitting the stopwatch and I'm, I'm noting the time on the atomic clock at 12.58, which is pretty good considering that the prediction was 12.59. So we're getting closer and closer. Now I'm going to measure Old Faithful. So as the plume of water gets higher and higher in the window, I'm comparing it to this tree right over here. And I'm using this picture, which has a triangulation set up, to identify how high the water went on the tree. And what I figured out, Old Faithful's hit its peak already, was that it came to about right here, which is about 140 feet. So in the log book, in addition to the start time, I'm gonna record 140 as the height of this Old Faithful, which is the tallest one today, which is kinda nice. And then all I need to do is keep an eye on the timer and see how long Old Faithful lasts. And that's all gonna de determine how we predict the next one. I'm also going to record the interval between the last Old Faithful and this one, which is 89 minutes. We take those intervals and we use those to make our average. Basically, we use observation Old Faithful to figure out how to predict it. And it changes through time. Um, just a couple weeks ago, we were using 88 minutes for a long eruption. Um, and now we're using 90 minutes because we figured out that that was going to give us the better average. So um, Old Faithful is now been going for 1 minute 48 seconds. It's still going strong. If it lasts longer than three and a half minutes, then we have what we call a long eruption, which is the most frequent form of Old Faithful eruptions. It's a bimodal geyser. It has longs and it has shorts. If it's going to have a short, I would expect that any minute now, it would just suddenly stop. If it were to do that, I would go ahead and predict it for 62 minutes, but it looks to me like it's probably going to be a long. Still a lot of water coming out of it. We're at two and a half minutes now. So we're gonna wait another minute and make sure that Old Faithful is a true long. And we're getting to the point where the water's pretty low right now, so I'm gonna be using the binoculars to determine the difference between the water and the steam. We won't consider the eruption done until there's no more water coming out. So we're still getting kind of big spurts of water coming out of Old Faithful. Most of the people have turned away now. And we are at three and a half minutes. So we're going to consider this to be a long eruption, but I am going to wait and record. Okay, and it's done. So three minutes, 42 seconds. So our start time was 12.58, so our next prediction would be go 1.58 and then go to 2.28. I'll write 2.28 in the book. And then the next thing I have to do is tell the world. This is 724 Victor with the Old Faithful prediction. Old Faithful Geyser is predicted to erupt at 2.28 p.m. plus or minus 10 minutes. Thank you.